They've spent 30 years adorning one of the most famous squares in the City of Light. Now these cobblestones are being torn up from the Place Vendôme before heading to the suburbs for a facelift. This lot is where the city stores some 10,000 metric tons of cobblestone it extracts each year from Paris streets. Many of the cobblestones are buried. After May 68, they started covering them with pavement. That's why there are so many cobblestones that you can't see, but you discover them when there's construction. The May 68 protests in France are just one of many moments where cobblestones became central to historic events. Since the first stone was laid under King Philippe Auguste at the end of the 12th century, they've been torn up and repurposed as instruments of revolution, a phenomenon depicted in photos from this exhibit called Uprisings. Originally, the cobblestone wasn't used so much as a weapon to throw at the enemy, but rather something that could be used to construct a barricade. In this exhibit, we also have a photo from 1848, which is the first photo of a revolution, and you can see a barricade made of cobblestones that were dug up and provided protection during clashes. Today, most of the stones meet a simpler fate. The city of Paris resells them, mostly to other municipalities, to become other streets and avenues. A select few become souvenirs thanks to a business started by entrepreneur Margot saint lague she decorates the granite blocks with French flags or gold leaf before selling them for 60 to 150 euros. We don't know if Coco Chanel or General de Gaulle or Napoleon stepped on a particular rock, but we do know they're witnesses to centuries past. There's nothing more authentic than bringing home a rock. Visitors to Paris seem to agree. Among other countries, souvenir cobblestones have added weight to suitcases bound for the Czech Republic, Australia and the U.S.